Welcome to Python Programming Tutorials. In this class, we are going to discuss about user-defined exceptions. In previous class, we discussed about predefined exceptions. Okay, so what is a user-defined exception means? Exceptions are defined by the developer as per the application requirements. So that means, for example, I want to withdraw money from my account. The amount in my account is 1000 rupees. But I want to withdraw 2000 rupees. Okay, that means this is greater than the amount. Okay, at that time we are going to treat this as an exception and we can write the program for user defined exception. Okay, so this is the example for user defined exception. In this program, what we are doing means we are going to check the marks of the student. If the marks of the student is less than 50, then we treat that as a exception. If it is greater than 50, then we are going to print the exam pass. Now we can see that how we can define user defined exception. So, so what is the exception means? Exception is a class. Okay, the number division exception, so floating point exception, all these exceptions are predefined classes. But here we are going to discuss about user defined exception. So we can define a class. Okay, for exception. What is the exception name? Here I am giving the exception name as exam fail exception. Okay, this is the exception name. You can give any name here, but the parent class is exception. Okay, exception is a class which is parent to all the exceptions in Python. This class accepts one argument marks and creates one instance variable self.marks equals to marks. This is the definition of user defined exception. Now we can write the problem as normally. So class student, I am going to initiate for number and name. Okay. The execution is starting from here. S1 equals to student 1, 2, 3, 4, Ravi. That means the object is created. S1. So what is the instance variable? S number, S name. Okay. S number equals to 1, 2, 3, 4. Name equals to Ravi. So S2 equals to student, that means another object, S2. S number equals to 4, 5, 6, 7. S name equals to Ram. Okay. S1 dot exam, that means exam is the method in the class student. So this is. So what is the argument? Marks equals to 70. So now I am going to print student number. So student number 1, 2, 3, 4. Student name, Ravi. Ravi. So try. So as a develop, as a programmer, I think that we get runtime error when I am checking the marks. So I can write this code in try block. If marks less than 50, then print exam fail and raise the exception. But here the marks are 70. 70 less than 50, false. We go to here, print exam pass. So that means what is the output? Student number 1, 2, 3, 4. Student name Ravi. Exam pass. That's it. So when I am gone, S2 dot exam 45. Now the marks are 45. Student number is S2. 4567. It prints 4567. And the name is Ram. Okay. Now here 45. 45 less than 50. Yes, it is true. It prints exam fail and it tries the exception exam fail exception. Okay, then control goes to here exception block. Exam fail exception as ex. That means this is the predefined class. The marks are 45. Sorry, here. The marks are 45. So, 7 dot marks equals to 45. Now, we are going to print failed because marks are what is the marks value 45 failed because marks are 45 prints okay so what is the output for s2 dot exam 45 student number 4567 student name ramu exam failed failed because marks are 45 okay so in this way you can define the user defined exceptions in Python.
now we see user defined exception here the user defined exception is exam fail exception okay i inherit this i inherit the exception class as base class now we are execute this program okay student number 1 2 3 4 name ravi exam pass why he gets 70 so next one student number 456 and student name ramu exam failed because marks are 45 